had a really odd childhood because I am an only child, but then there were 12 kids in the house because <laughs> my mother ran a nursery. So I always had, people would say, you know, did you like being an only? I might not even think about it. I loved being an only child because I was happy when they left because we had 900 square feet of space, wow. 12 kids, yeah. snot noses. They'd come early in the morning. I was like, God, <laughs> diapers. Yeah, but dad left. He, I used to say, you know, I always slept better on Thursdays because he would be gone from Sunday through Wednesday. And I think part of the reason I ended up working with my dad and working so close with him and, you know, taking his words and making things out of it because I wanted to be close to him. And I missed some of that opportunity when I was a kid, even though I didn't really resent that he was gone. I knew that he had a calling, which is different than a job, mm -hmm. right? And so I don't know. I think that that definitely set the stage of this calm regimen because mom was very different than me and she's very orderly and very planned my mother never screamed at me I mean how many women are like that it's like being raised by Margaret Thatcher that's what I used to say even today I call her the prime minister because she's the pastor mama <laughs> and, you know and, but she was very orderly she was just could handle all of that with a lot of grace and she set the bar really high I knew I couldn't attain it so I didn't even try you know <laughs> It's so true though, you know, but when dad would come home, she would just let loose because she was so happy to see him. And I don't care what kind of garbage and junk that had happened that week. One of the things that I did notice that my mom did so well was that she didn't just load my dad up the minute he walked through the door, even if it was about spanking me. You know what I mean? It was not that way. Like she didn't say, this is the problem. This is what needs to happen the moment he got his foot in the door. It was like a party. Like she cleaned herself up and she would get the house all ready and she would tell me, you know, you get, get with it, you can get straight, you know. And then he would come home and we'd have that moment and I'd get beat later, you know. <laughs> it's true though, but it was, it was beautiful in a lot of ways, just seeing how, I, I can take well, it. And Dad was really good. This is what he would do sometimes, just to fake out my mom. He would go bring me in the bedroom because he was supposed to spank me and he'd hit the bed. He said, just hollow a little. He said, get, he'd say, get your mom off my back. Just do right, Joe. Just do right. You know, and he'd hit the bed. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> Come out trying to sniffle, you know. <laughs> he was good. I knew he was, you know, he was on my side. He just wanted me to do well. Like God, right? He's on my side, just wants me to do well. He has my best interest at heart, no matter what. He has my best interest at heart. He's not looking to beat me. No. He's looking to give me the grace and mercy because I need it, you know? Yeah, it was good. It was like a party at home. It definitely was. And then it would go back to, like, Nazi oh, concentration camp. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I cooked today because I was starving most of my childhood. You know? <laughs> i never forget that time I made that hamburger helper. <laughs> oh, I finally got a good that meal. Yeah, I lived on bread and mustard, like this guy from Sling Blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah I did, because I hated everything. I didn't like my food touching. I was extraordinarily, like, rigid about yeah. it. And I hated all, everything my mom ever made. We just didn't have the same taste buds. No. But God gave me a child who has my mom's taste buds. Literally, I'm cooking those types of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember, you know, we were just so glad... That when Jesse was home, it was, yeah, like we it was said, so party time is any time. Dad's home. It was wonderful. <clears throat> and so yeah. we we waited on him hand and foot. Yeah. So we spoiled I him. Peeled so even, his dirty socks off. Oh of my him. goodness! Yeah. We're just glad he was home. We just. Yeah. What do you want? You want some water? So now, so even though I may travel with him, he still expects that same treatment. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I, I tell him he's high maintenance. He says, "No, I'm not. I'm not high maintenance." He's, I, he says, "I'll eat anything." I said, "Yes, but I have to get it to your mouth." <laughs> So true. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I'm he's not, good he's though. Not like she your lucked out. I mean, anything she says, she lucked out. I mean, look at my dad. Really, come on. He's awesome. And how could you even know that when you're a kid and you're just dating and you, you know, you end up with somebody who God had in store for you? Yeah. It's a total blessing. I'm gladly peel off those socks, bring them to me. You know, it's wonderful. It's a great man.